Hey students, happy Friday. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Today for reading, you get to do the quizzes from Dog of the Sea Waves on quizzes.com. It's the comprehension and the vocabulary quizzes. I've assigned them to the class. So just find them on quizzes, log in with Google, and they're right there. Next, for the reading journeys workbook, what you get to do is write the words correctly. There's a lot of sentences that have misspelled words. <laughs> but you get to correct those sentences and write the words correctly. After that, then you get to find there's clues and you have to write the word that matches each clue. There's a word bank and you solve the clues with that word bank. It's pretty exciting. Can you solve them all? I know you can. Yes, smart kids. Next for fractions, there's a little bit more of adding and subtracting fractions. Also, you have some questions today, about how you, you need to describe dividing a shape. Now, this could be tricky because you're describing what you would do in drawing in words. So, for instance, one of them says, describe how you would divide the shape into two equal parts. The shape is a diamond. So, if I were describing it using a complete sentence, I would say something like, first I would start by putting my pencil at the top of the diamond and then drawing a straight line all the way down to the matching point or something. And that would show two equal parts. Or I could say, hmm, I would take the point most to the left and draw a straight line to the point on the right. Something like that. So you need to use complete sentences, capitals, periods, and great words to describe how you would divide the shapes. Next, for writing today, you get to write a paragraph answering the following question. You ready for the question? Drum roll, please! And here it is. The question is, would you rather live in Hawaii with volcanoes or in Idaho with the coronavirus? Why? Be sure to state your opinion and give reasons in that paragraph. Use transition words. Make it some of your best writing. It's not just to get the assignment done. I want to see your best writing. State, so state your opinion, say why you think that, give reasons, use transition words, do your best. Okay, finally, don't forget to do the daily check-in and have a great weekend.